that up. But. <laughs> no, you're absolutely right. Some of the no, biggest names in the radio have come out. Powerhouse one radio. And are, radio. are in the uh, Tennessee Radio Hall of Fame, and we're in having Keith. Uh, yeah. Sir, it is a it is a tremendous honor speaking as a as a as a member. It is a tremendous honor, and it's a, it's great to have Keith as our MC. Keith, how are you? How are you at self inducting? What? <laughs> oh my God! Have you ever self inducted yourself in, in any way? Here's here's what I'm trying to say. It is, is my, he saying it, what I it think is he's my saying. personal oh my personal gosh. pleasure and professional pride I take in. In announcing that you, sir, are now in the Tennessee Radio Hall. Oh my God! Do you want me to cry? Oh my God! Is that what you're raining for? No, but you made it, sir. Mm. You deserve it. I I can't think of anything. Oh my gosh! Anybody more deserving to be in the Tennessee Radio Hall? Oh my gosh! You emailed me. Somebody said, uh, he said, I'm nominating you, and I said, Wow, I I appreciate that. And and I I'm totally honest when. When I say inducting Carol and Grant, I, that's as far as I thought I'd ever get with this organization. I mean, that's pretty. That's pretty high. Uh, high. I understand but completely. But go in, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh I, I share your, your oh, sense God. of awe. I, it's it's you know I'm, I'm flashing back to those early days of radio, uh, starting out in Cookville. I, like you guys, I sat by the radio and listened to my heroes, some of whom I'm going into the Hall of Fame with. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, but oh I, I just never dreamed. You know, I couldn't dream that day. And uh, golly. And you and I go. Way Am back. I still asleep? Is we, this a dream? We go. Oh we go. You and I, I, go back dream to, I don't know. <laughs> to the Channel Four days when you yeah. and we were doing weather on Channel Four. I taught you everything you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> taught you what not to do. <laughs> yes, and we. Filled in for each other and everything, yeah. and anyway, you and I. Told you where the liquor was. The, <laughs> <laughs> the keys to the liquor cabinet. Uh, <laughs> and anyway, I can't think of a better person to go in well, right now than you, I Keith Bilbrey. You in the, in the Tennessee Radio Hall of Fame. I can't wait until May. You're going to MC the thing, and then you're going to have to turn right around. Well, you know, when that was proposed, I thought, oh, yeah, I can handle that. <clears throat> right at this moment, I don't know why I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you will rally. You rally for everything. Get Nan Kelly on the line. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, you doing this solo. <laughs> hey, hey, listen, Keith. If you can do Family Feud. Oh, gosh. You can do it. <laughs> you can do the Tennessee Radio Hall of Fame. And by the way, you and every... You were, you, were fan, you and your family, absolutely fantastic well, on Family Feud. For people who didn't score one single point, I think it was around <laughs> The entertainment value alone was worth yeah, it. Was worth you being on the show. Mo Bandy called me yesterday. I, y'all know Mo Bandy. Mo, Mo says, I wish I had that message to play for you. He says, Keith, this is Mo Bandy. Me and Tammy, we just got off the road, and we want to know how you go on Family feud and play for 30 minutes and don't score one point. How's that <laughs> well, work? <laughs> you know, it, I know it matters to you whether you want or not, but it was so fun watching you guys. Well, if you can't be good, be entertained. Yes. You know, you know yes. it's all riddle radio. I mean, I'm yes, just sir. a blind here. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's great. 